Um, my name is Clint Higley. Again, thank you for joining. And uh, we're going to get right into it. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the Documents Core Pack editing process and what it entails right now. So right now, um, if you're familiar with Documents Core Pack, if you used it, you understand this process. If you haven't used it, this is kind of how it works, right? So we do document creation uh, through our uh, Documents Core Pack dialog. Um, it lets you, you know, uh, pick your different your templates and your different parameters and things like that, and lets you go ahead and create that document from the um, from Dynamics data um, via Documents Core Pack. Um, it allows you then to make edits to your document, right? And then following that up, one of the options is to save to SharePoint. So this has been uh, the kind of the flow for it right now. So we're creating the document, we're making the edits, and it's saving the SharePoint. Well, you know, what if we make a mistake? You know, that happens sometimes on document creation, or there's some changes that need to be made, or there's, you know, things of that nature. Well, we're stuck with the going back to creating the document, redoing those edits, and then resaving it to SharePoint, right? So the thought process behind it was what if those document edits, what if we could save those document edits, okay? And then on the creation of say, like we go through and we make our document edits, we save those. And then if we have to recreate the document, we take those saved edits and we add them back into the document so that you don't have to make the edits a second time, right? So that was kind of the first kind of thought process there is like, what if that's something we can do? Well. Uh, one of the things that kind of came up was, hey, what about the people that are out here that do not have access to Dynamics or to Documents Core Pack, right? Uh, what if they need to edit the documents? Well, I want to save their information. And well, they can edit their these documents that you've created um, on SharePoint. That was kind of the thought behind that. Edit on SharePoint, and then we save their edits. And again, when we go through the document creation process, we pull their edits in. And uh, then that way they don't have to go back and, you know, you know, redo those edits. So that was kind of the thought process behind this. Um, and uh, what we came up with was uh, this new feature that we're kind of highlighting today, uh, which is editable sections. And basically what it does is it updates fields from Dynamics 365 um, into a document while keeping changes done by the user to the same document, right? So basically what that means is I can create a document, make edits, and then save it. And then I can take it and recreate that document and it pulls those edits that I've made back into that document without me having to um, actually make those edits again. Some of the typical use cases for this that we kind of, uh, you know, kind of came across is typically, you know, you have some larger documents that undergo several revisions. You're gonna make several notes to it. Um, collaborations of documents with input from multiple use, users or departments. Um, and so basically what we call long-term documents, and that is documents that require like updates at different points in time. Uh, those are three, you know, typical use cases that we see, you know, just uh, there may be some other ones out there, but those are the three that we mostly see. Um, so one of the things that you, if you're going to use this, uh, there are a couple of prerequisites that you have to have. Number one is the Dynamics uh, 365 SharePoint integration. You have to have that enabled on your Dynamics system. Um, you have to have the template de uh, designer version 10.12 or higher. Um, that has been released today, so it's available right now. And Documents Core Pack version 2020.56 or higher. Um, and it's available for online services. Um, so if you're interested in using this, go ahead and download that new Documents Core Pack version uh, Documents Core Pack client version, go ahead and get that installed, get yourself updated. And then if you need to, uh, if you're online and you need to be updated, just, just let us know, we'll update you. Or if you're on premise, you can already download and update your system. Um, let's talk a little bit about how this actually works now. Uh, so basically what we have, the first kind of step is that we have the document the documents generated and then saved to SharePoint. Um, that is with your actual document, the edits that you do um, to the document. We save that in there. Um, then what we do is uh, you can also then uh, modify your document on SharePoint so you can make changes. This is like the outside people. So you can make changes with the Documents Core Pack dialog and it's saved. And then your users that are not using Dynamics or Documents Core Pack can actually go onto SharePoint 
and make uh, changes to these editable sections there on SharePoint. And then what we do is on uh, the next time that you're gonna go ahead and create this document, well, we pull these changes back and uh, save them into Dynamics and then basically update the template kind of sort of in real time um, with these edits along with the dynamic fields. So um, it's, it's a really very simple process uh, and the guys did a really good job in putting this together. So it's real simple to use. So let's talk about our template setup. And uh, basically what we're doing here is we have to define editable sections. It's really easy. You can do this on any new um, documents core pack template that you have, as well as anything um, that you already have existing. You can kind of add these editable sections to it. And what you do first is you basically will add sections by adding section breaks. So as you can see here in my template behind here, I have a couple section breaks added. Continuous section breaks are recommended when doing this. And then you're going to define your editable um, sections in the template settings, right? So then we'll just go into the template settings and we'll just uh, define the sections that are going to be editable. Um, and those are the ones basically that we want to make edits to and then have them be pulled back in. This will all make more sense once we kind of go into the demo. And speaking of that, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna show you the template setup. So adding um, editable document parts to your template, how to, how to do that, how to go through that. And then last but not least, kind of show you the process where we're gonna do a step-by-step. -step. We're gonna create the uh, created document, right? And we're gonna use that template that we're just kind of working on there. Uh, we're gonna create the document. Uh, we're gonna edit the document from the Documents Core Pack dialog. Um, then I'm gonna flip over to SharePoint, uh, make some edits to the document in SharePoint. And uh, then we're going to go back into Dynamics uh, 365 and then recreate this document and show you that it pulls the edits in um, just automatically. And then I can make also new edits to it and change the document. So first thing that I wanna do um, here is in Word, so I have my um, Documents Core Pack client open. I'm just gonna take an already existing template that I have. Uh, this is just a simple, uh, really nice invoice template that we have um, on our system here that I'm gonna be using. And for this, uh, what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and I want to add uh, a section for uh, notes for the user that's actually creating this document, right? And then a section for maybe like the legal team if they have to add any like legal jargon or anything like that to this particular document. So first things first, what I want to do is make a section down here and I'm gonna kind of flip this around um, so that you can see. Go ahead and give myself a little bit of space here. And uh, one thing of note, when you're adding these sections, um, it's best to have the section basically, you know, by itself, right? So here, basically to add a section, I uh, just go here to layout, <coughs> go to my breaks and add a continuous section break, okay? So here I've created two sections. Uh, all in total, I want to create four. So this is my first section. Now let's define our second section here. Uh, one other thing of note that uh, that I do want to share with you is that always make sure if I want my section break here, always go one line below, add your section break. Okay. Again, let's get another one here for my fourth one. So a continuous. So now I have one, two, three, four sections in this document, okay? So this section right here is going to be my notes. And this section right here, I'm gonna just call it legal. Legal, all right? So I'm just kind of add that in there, right? Now I need to define these sections as editable, right? So I basically do that by going to my MSCR add-ons tab, inserting my mail merge fields, going here to my advanced template settings, and then to my section configuration. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so here, uh, basically it's, it's pretty straightforward here. I want to add sections that are editable. So I'm gonna click this add button to add the first one. Okay, I have my section, so section two. It's the first one I'll add, so I'll take that and give it a name. I'll just call this notes. Okay, and then I will add the legal section. Again, hit the add button and then 
add the third, select the third section here, call it legal, right? So simple enough. So I've defined my two sections that are editable that I want to um, kind of save back, right? So from there, I'll just go ahead and click OK. You'll notice here that it makes a couple changes here um, in the document. So one thing is that you'll see this tag. It lets you know that the section above that is an editable section, right? So pretty simple. So here's my, this is my notes section. This is the legal section that I have defined. That's pretty much it. You're, you're pretty much done. I mean, naturally, this is a real simple example. Yours might be a little bit more complicated. You may have a lot more sections. But you know, just for demo purposes, um, this will do. So I'll save my template here. And uh, let's call this um, different. All right, and I'll save it and let it do that. And then once that's done, I'll just go ahead and close this out and close this out. And let's flip over to my dynamic system here real quick. <coughs> so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you how this works. So I have this invoice in here and uh, we're just going to go ahead and create a document and make some edits to it kind of show you what this is. So here I'm going to create a document. I'm going to do every step. I'll pick my template. Um, I'll go ahead and say next. And I'm just going to create this as a docx document and save it to SharePoint. That's, uh, that's the only thing that I'm going to do right here. So I'll just go ahead and say next. Document creation is in process. Basically, it's taking the template. It's pulling all the information. It's putting it all together for me. And there we go. So I have my uh, my my finished document here, and now I'm going to go ahead and edit this in Word. All right. So go ahead and select that. It brings up Word. I scroll down here from the bottom. This is something that's really interesting here. Uh, so one of the nice things about that is you may have made changes before, but this actually tells you up here that a newer version of this uh, the, this file is available on the server. You know I go and test all these. So basically what I'm going to do is discard the changes and refresh. <coughs> and here's my document as it stands right now. So I want to go ahead and make some uh, make some notes here. I just basically say this is from the PCP dialog. All right. And just so you know that I'm not going to be cheating saw that that other one was red. Well, I'm going to make this one green. Okay. Um, so then we want to go ahead and save this. And this is actually saving the document um, to SharePoint. So the document is actually saved. My edits are saved. Um, I'll go ahead and say finish here. Well, I'm done. So if I flip over here to the corresponding um, document location uh, for this particular uh, record here in SharePoint, this is basically what I'm going to see. So if I'm a user that doesn't have any kind of access to Dynamics or doesn't have any kind of access to TCP or anything like that, you know, I can come on here to, um, to SharePoint. I can see there's a document in here. I can go ahead and click on that, open it up here in Word Online, you know, just regular Word or Word Online. Both of them work just the same. I can see my first edit in here. This is the one from the dialogue. And here I'm, say I'm on the legal team and Let's see. Oh, let's put that in there. There we go. We'll go ahead and let's make this red. All right. So I've got my edit from SharePoint. I just need to wait till it's saved, which it is. And there we go. So I have the document here. You see, I've edited it in two different places. One of the documents, Corpac Dialog, one here on SharePoint. Let's go back and let's say, for example, um, that I've sent this invoice out. Uh, it's, there's some things maybe on it that are incorrect. I need to make some changes to the invoice, what have you. You know, we've overcharged them or we've actually, they wanted to add more uh, of, of a, a particular thing to it you know, what have you, that would be uh, the normal case scenario, of course, with the invoice, or 
Um, so what I want to do here is now go ahead and I'm going to create this document again. All right. And again, decide every step. And I'm going to use this particular one. And we'll do again a docx and save this to SharePoint. So I'll go ahead and say next. And again, it's going through and creating my documents. It's now taking those edits and pulling those edits back into this document here. So when I edit this, I'll probably get that same dialogue again that where I have to basically refresh my document. So I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, and if I scroll down here, this is the created document again. And you can see here that I have, I have you know, my edits from before from the D document score pack dialog and then edit from SharePoint here. So again, I can make changes again. Uh, let's see. All right. That's from the dialog again. Let's make that yellow just for fun. Save that. And then close this out. Finish this up. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So I've got my previous document that I created, my second document that you created, that I've created here. Uh, this is the new one with the new edits. So if I open this up, you can see here that, again, I have all my edits. So the edit from the first time I used the dialog, the edit from SharePoint, and the edit from the dialog again. Uh, so you can see where this could be a, a very useful tool. And, uh, you know, so if you're making a lot of edits and things like that, you don't have to, um, you know, basically uh, do these edits again. They're just automatically pulled in for you. Um, so that being said, what I'd like to do is thank you guys all for coming. Uh, want you all to stay safe. Want you to have a happy holidays. Uh, again, you can find us on the web at www.mscrm-addons.com.